Well, good morning. We are tracking what is a cloudy start to your day as you look outside in the Syntex Roof Systems camera at the Killeen Regional Airport. Temperatures in the low to mid 60s out there currently. The radar trying to light up to our northwest. You can see some of those thunderstorms ongoing to the northwest of, say, Hamilton and Bosque County, but they are trying to trend a little bit to the south. Let's zoom into them real quick. They aren't that far from uh, the Hamilton County line, actually sitting mm, probably about 10 miles. We'll measure that real quick as it is moving from the northwest there, close to 10 to 15 miles away from the Hamilton and Comanche County line, but trying to work a little bit further to the south. As you can see, a little bit of that outflow moving south there, sparking some new thunderstorms. We'll watch that. That could lead to a couple of thunderstorms developing in Hamilton and Bosque County this morning, but I think they'll stay away from Waco Temple Colleen for your rush hour commute. That's the good news. We do have a better chance of rain as we go further on into your Thursday. We'll give it about that 20 to 30% chance this morning, but that rain chance should go up as we get into that lunchtime hour and into the afternoon. That's when I expect the potential for scattered showers and thunderstorms to be around. And while they shouldn't be severe, some of them could be strong with a little bit of hail trying to get into them. Let's walk you through time on feature track, show you what that looks like. Models have been really struggling this morning. They don't even have the activity. Look, they don't even have the activity that was over there that you saw on radar. So we'll monitor that as we go through the day. But those showers, thunderstorms look to try to get going again as we get into the afternoon. You'll see some of those thunderstorms start to flare up. I do agree with this. It will see an uptick in the thunderstorm activity here as we get into the afternoon. Although I don't think everyone sees them. They'll be scattered in nature, which means some of you will see them, some of you won't. That's why I have about a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms that likely as we get into the low to mid 70s this afternoon. I think our better chance of thunderstorms will actually show up overnight as this broken line of thunderstorms that tries to develop out west attempts to move to the east. I think a lot of the energy will be out of them before they reach the I-35 corridor. That's why I don't expect a huge threat of severe thunderstorms overnight. Still, we could have the potential for a little bit of hail with these as they come in. So to be on the safe side, go ahead and bring in your cars before you go to bed tonight. Get them in the garage. So that way, if we do have some hail, you aren't caught off guard. Good news is a lot of that clears out as we go through the day on Friday. And so sunshine should be with us by Friday afternoon. And that will lead into a pretty weekend, although it will be a little cooler. Temperatures in the low 40s when you wake up on Saturday morning. We'll get into the 60s for highs on Saturday. Don't expect this to be a huge rainmaker unless you're in some of our northern counties. It's where you may see a little over a half inch of rain, but most of us around a quarter to a half inch of rain. And again, things look to be quieter for the weekend. You can see on that 10 day forecast, we call for 73 today, 79 tomorrow behind that weak cold front. The colder air actually spills in as we get into the weekend. That's when we'll get the stronger cold front in here. Low to mid 60s Saturday and Sunday, and then we'll heat back up to that spring light forecast coming up next week. That could feature a few thunderstorms with it by the middle to end of the week as well. And the Brazos Valley more of the same 76 there on Thursday for today, mid 60s for the weekend, closer to 80 next week. I'm Shaw Jadam reporting in Cross.